Well, good morning and welcome to Windy Hill Kennel. We're about noon, but we're, we're morning. So I'm hoping we can do about two videos a week for you guys now that Vanessa's back and uh, kind of give you a bright spot in your day. I did take a video of these down in the kennel yesterday, but oh my golly, they were screaming. I'll put it underneath this video today so you can see it too, but I took you behind the scenes when I dumped them out of their box for the first time and they were not happy campers, believe me. They cried the whole time. So today we're gonna do microchips as usual. We're going to uh, give you current weights on these guys. And I'm gonna put their collars on today. So they're not gonna like me when we're done. Are you growling? Are you seriously growling? Oh, I know it, I know it, I know. You're lost and you're on an island all by yourself. It'd be okay. Get in my foot, get in here with your siblings. There you go. All right, so let's get started. This is puppy number 8856. And this is the puppy that has the really cool black dot right in the middle of her back. Oh, I know you're panicking, you're panicking. Once eyes open up, they get really panicky. I see why Vanessa's gonna cut your toenails today. You got sharp toenails. You do. So this little girl, except I gotta move my foot. You guys are just gonna have to live with out me in my lap. Okay. I had a cortisone shot in that hip about two and a half weeks ago, and I swear he hit a nerve, so I can't sit like that very long. All right, so this puppy is three pounds, three ounces, right on the button. I know, I see you're snuggling up to my leg. So we're going to give her a rare. That's the chocolate one. A neon pink collar. Oh, they're almost too big for these. I brought down the baby collars because I thought they weren't going to be big enough to have the big ones. So this will be the last week for these, it looks like. Plus, she has no neck. She's like a wrestler. Oh, I know. You got your neck just sunk down in there. There we go. That'll last you. At least mom can't pull it off. And I can get my fingers in there so we're not too tight. So she's going to get a neon pink collar. So these guys will go home with their neon pink collars. And, uh, I know, I hear you grumbling. Also, I don't know, I think I've talked to everybody that's got a puppy from this litter. We are not going to be able to ship these puppies because of the airlines. Um, actually, April 1st, they're shutting down all pet flights. I don't know how long that's in effect, but, um... I don't want to tell you we can ship and then we can't. So if you're a family that's getting a puppy shipped and are not able to drive it, please call me. But I think we pretty much headed everybody off with that. Let me hold her up here and let Vanessa get a, a good face picture. All right, kiddos. All right, kiddos. Arr. Is today their four-week shot? No, these aren't. I don't, see, I don't think they're quite old enough. So they'll be getting their four-week shot here coming up this next week. Oh, I know. Let's do you. You're growling. You keep growling. So this is the chocolate. I know. You're just not real happy. Arr, now you're growling. You took his place. So he is like, you're going to drop me? I know you are, and I'm really not going to drop you. Sit down on your butt. There you go. Let Vanessa let him see your face. Oh, you're going to yawn. Puppies have a habit. When we touch their face accidentally or we hold them for pictures, they'll yawn. Are you going to yawn when I touch your face? Oh, I'm going to yawn again. Oh, I know. It's a pain in the butt when we're shooting regular pictures because every time we touch their face to hold them, they'll end up and they'll yawn. I don't know why that is. Oh, yeah. You're just a stinker. All right. So let me turn my scale back on. Oh, my goodness sake. These guys have had their two-week worming. You're all right. And they're working their way towards their four-week Neopar shot. Two pounds, 12.5 is the weight. And today is the 24th, if I didn't tell anybody that. Uh, I know, come here, come here, come here, come here, come here. There you go, you're all right. So we're gonna give him, you are the boy, right? You got the boy plumbing, yes you do. We're gonna give him the blue collar. I'm gonna have to make this one bigger, I'm sure. You guys are bigger than I thought you were for collars. Let me see. Oh yeah, this is perfect. Let me make it just a little bit looser. And we're gonna be good. Oh, you're sliding. You're sliding. You're gonna go to sleep because you're on my lap and it's warm, aren't you? 
All right, uh, let me snap this in place. There we go. When I change collars next week, we will put big boy collars on and they will be the same colors. So are you yawning again? So uh, you'll be able to see the same collars. And next week, you'll see a huge difference between this week's videos and next week's videos. You're turned backwards. And I know there's a couple little girls that are wanting to see this one. I just confirmed with their dad that they're coming to pick up. They're not, they knew I couldn't ship, so they live a good haul off from us, but they said they're going to come pick up. So this one is, you know what, I'm not giving you microchips, but I think you kind of know whose these are. I'm going to give you microchips on this one and the black one. This letter is really easy to tell apart. This is 8852. I know. Just a grumbling. You're a grumbling. I hear you. All new for these guys. They all have lovely coats. They've got super, super rich, thick coat. And this is the one that has the black dot on the head. And kind of like black eyes also. It looks like somebody socked her, socked her in the eyes. All right. Let me see. Let me put you over here. i got to turn my scale back on. All right. So you are microchipped. I gave you that, 88.52. Two pounds, 11 ounces today. You're working on three pounds, aren't you? So we're going to give her a purple collar. You guys have thick necks. Good grief. You guys are like little sumo wrestlers. All right, and you're sliding too. Come up here. Let me put this on. They're all kind of scrunched up because they're on their out of their normal territory and their necks are so scrunched up I can't get there we go I got her to loose her neck up now it went on yeah there you go stretch your neck out you got your neck all scrunched up yes you do you went down here and snuggle yeah you went down there and snuggle all right you got up on your feet let's do the black and white one this is the black and white female and so it's between neon orange and green let's give you the neon orange We'll give your brother the other, I'll give the black female the orange one, or the neon green one. So, really pretty spots on this puppy. I don't know if she's gonna have any ticking. I haven't seen ticking on anybody of them, any of them yet, which is the little tiny spots that come out in these coats. But they have really, really lovely soft coats. And this isn't really cold, this is nerves, because they're totally out of the box today totally totally out of anywhere they're used to the smells and everything and uh, I like this puppy's ears this one has frosting on it it's just like this little wisp of just a little row of white hairs on that ear and the other ear is jet black it's got a little little tip of frosting on there Let's see what you weigh before I lose my scale two pounds 2.8 ounces all right up here we go and we are microchip number 8854. All right, so let's give you the neon orange. And you got a little more neck, but we still got to let it out, don't we? Where are you going? You're going to venture out? Oh, you're fine. No, it's you that's crying. You're fine. This one says, I'll just stay here and go to sleep. Your leg's warm. Yep. There we go. All right. So, she has a neon orange bright collar on. I know. You don't know. I don't know if we can see eyeballs or not. Black faces are tough to see eyeballs on. Vanessa's going to do... We'll probably scoop faces today when we do... Um, their toenails so they'll get their faces scooped this one is the black puppy 8851 and this one is the other female oh my goodness you guys let me put your ball well, weigh you first the collar's going to give you more weight no girl wants to get on the scale and have more weight on them two pounds 8.5 ounces as of today oh you're all right you're all right. Yeah, you're okay. Put your chin up. I know it touched your face. You have to let it out. Where are you going? She says, I don't know, but I'm looking. All right, let's do this. 
So I hope everybody is staying in and staying safe. I know everybody says they're bored that I talk to. Let me show you a face picture. But luckily we're busy enough and we've got about 30 acres and we've got cattle. We got a cow having a calf this morning. My husband's up watching with the binoculars, making sure she has it on her own and we don't have to call the vet. But uh, we get out and get things done. Uh, I am making, I'm gonna start making bread for the neighbors. So uh, I hear of a, we have a neighbor that just popped in. So I'm not gonna yell back at her. She's leaving us some bread or um, banana muffins, I think this morning. But uh, so all of us in the country are kind of watching out for each other, taking each other things, swapping out muffins. She brought us uh, broccoli soup yesterday. And uh, so we're just kind of hanging in and doing what we have to do. So I hope everybody stays safe. Uh, if you have to go out, I really hope you have rubber gloves to wear. We have disposable gloves that we wear if we have to absolutely go somewhere, but we haven't done that for a while. And uh, so we're hunkered down till it's over and not going out. But uh, I hope you have uh, plenty of TP. That seems to be the talk of the town around here is TP. But it's kind of one of those necessities of life, I guess. So... Everybody's doing good in the litter. Nobody's got any issues. I know that you're really anxious to be able to see them get up and get around and get going. They're getting there. Arr, I know. I hear you growling. You're back here telling me about it, aren't you? You're not happy I brought you up here. Oh, you're yawning again. I know. Sit over there. Next week, they will be toddling. We'll have to put the fence around here. But right now, they're kind of just out. A little scared, a little sleepy. Oh, yeah, that was a good bark. Good baby. She said, oh, I don't like this. But this is good for them. Doing strange things, being, and, you know, I don't comfort her. I don't sit here and pet him and tell him it's okay. I don't want to do that because then it just confirms what they're doing. And uh, so they get comfortable the more they are out each time they're out. Um, a couple things, if you get your puppy while this is all still going on and we're still going on to into this, into the summer, you do not want to keep this puppy with you 24 hours a day. How much time have we got? You're almost 13. So I'll probably get into that with you next week, but you need to let them have some time alone in their crate. So I still recommend 50% of their day in the crate. It's fine to get them out and play with them. When they're tired and want to go to sleep, put them in their crate. They need to learn that their crate is their home because when life gets back to normal, and it will, and we all go about our ways again, and you have made a baby out of this dog, it is going to tell her your house apart. So uh, we'll talk more about that. You can also call me if you want, and we can chat about it. I'm going to send all your videos out this evening. So you watch your email for... Um, an email from me, you'll get two. One has videos on it, the other one has your vitamin information that the puppies are on. So I will send all that to you this evening since the litter is sold. And uh, if you're seeing this on YouTube and have never viewed with us before, we do have five litters of puppies due starting this week. Um, we'll have them on the website by Wednesday or Thursday. So you can call me with any questions. Have a great day, stay safe. And we'll talk to you soon.